I also have full access to his country, so I just have to beat him down once, and he is uh, he's going to be dead. Just make your way to, well, preferably not the mountains. Really, I want you in the dry lands. Hmm, that could be troublesome if Katakiyunlu actually wants to come over there. Really don't want to fight you in mountains. And he says, he just goes over to more mountains. Hmm. Well, that's not good either. going or what he's doing, but I'll take it. Because I only need to leave a couple of these guys behind and we're good. As long as uh, Karaki and Lu doesn't come on over to ruin my day, it's all fine. But this is not a war that I'm fighting particularly well. What is the madman doing? I, I forgot I had subjects, that helps as well. What's the proper drink to your stream? I'm trying tea now, but knowing you're Scottish and all... Uh, okay, I don't really drink tea, but what can you do? I love prestige, I love admin power, and I need admin power, so that position was easy. I should have sank some of that prestige, though. I remember when uh, expanding your sphere of influence is a way to do that. Back in the future. Alright, Tabriz will fall, and really there's nothing I particularly want out of Kara. Having him, having his lands just makes me a Turkish um, target. And not many people want to be the Turkish to. Ah, that's clever. That's very clever. I see what you're doing there. And it was very, very clever. Okay, let's keep this nice and simple. I want Bello Ozero here, and I want Riazan here. Can't go wrong. He's just itching to fight them, isn't he? I think it's for the regular English, my friend. Ah, it's good to finally get to... Wait, where are you going? Oh, Chagai! Okay, more mountains. That's what the doctor ordered. Sadly, they decided they both want to go into the same province, but that's fine as well, I guess. Okay, he's going for the bust. That's what I like to see. He has more maneuver than I could ever outdo, but I'm going to crush him anyway. And he won't be able to run if he indeed can run at all. But where's he going to run to? Didn't think he could run, but maybe he's just showing me what's for. I'm going to wish I'd actually mobilized these guys ages ago. Oh well. Can't worry about the small stuff. I mean, really. I'm sure my beloved uh, subjects are be here to help me. I just want to siege this guy down and all will be well. Especially if I have this guy done. Done and dusted. He wants to fight me in the raw, which is fine. I mean, I'd rather he didn't, because it's Highlands, so we don't fight so well. 
And also my uh, my ally is trying to run away, but that's okay. It's all okay, except for when I go there. Nah, this seat just going nowhere anyway. There we go. So Ayutai tried to break away. Ming is like, you can't do that. And then Ayutai is going, I wish I hadn't broken my alliances. So they're going to be forced back in, but Ming is still feeling the burn here. Not enough viewers for fantastic YouTuber and Twitcher like Jake, but please no. I, uh... Some people think it's a joke. Some people think I take it too far, but I do prefer viewer reduction strats that clearly aren't working today. Still, at least the Golden Horde can appreciate it. Appreciate it more if... Uh, Tabriz would just fall now. Even taking that, though, probably won't be enough to get Karaki and Lu out, but Ro going down is a step in the right direction. Hmm. Yeah, I guess getting my religious unity up would help with uh, quite a few things. Stab cost, unrest. It's all good, and I do need to fill them out expensive as it's going to be. Oh, and since I did all that other stuff, I could probably start uh, corrupting now. Did my development and all that. And I like that money. But then who doesn't like money? As expected, that wasn't enough. However, that was but phase one of taking out Karaki and Luke from this war. A few more occupations here and there, and he's going to wish he wasn't in this war. Nobody wants to occupy a legendary Merovin for some reason. Can't understand it myself. He's trying to move in on me, but these occupations are going to be enough to tip that balance. Oh, he wants it, he wants it, but he doesn't want it fast enough. Ooh. How about for a couple of ducats will you sort off? No. Will not betray your ally for gold, is he? Powerful modifier. There's mountains there as well, so that's kind of good news for him. In. He really wants in. Close, but I gotta fight him in order to get him out of this war. Unless there's one other thing I could do, and it's not coming to me. Yeah, he might even beat me here. We are tit for tat on tech. But I probably have much better tribal stuff than he does. He might have negative stability, but I'm trying to see his... What's the word I'm looking for? Forward unity. No, he became an Ikta. Oh, well. Come and have a go if you think you're hard at... Oh, okay. He decided... <laughs> he decided, nah, that's okay. Well, that's enough to get him out. Hell, I could even demand a ducat or two from him. A ducat or a few. But I just want him out. This is meant to be a good, clean fight. Not here to uh, enjoy so much attrition and such. It's just the fact that you have to die. Lithuania, Chagatai, Muscovy, Uzbek, basically a whole bunch of who's. You allied Bengal, but Bengal... No, Bengal is not a tributary state. Fascinating. Right, game set and match here. 
It would almost awesome if Jake played in the next dev multiplayer and streamed it live for us. That would be great, but I will be commentating it instead, as I have done for a good few times now. I really enjoy being the uh, the host for the dev multiplayer. Playing is great fun as well. I would know. I was there in that Thunderdome, killing those Starnans. was the place to be. Sadly, I need this fort to fall. But then I'll have my 100%. The question is, do I really want raw? And the answer is, I really want everything here. The development is almost all burnable. There's just one bit that isn't. But I don't want him even available to uh, to coalition me. I like Jake in the Paradox streams. All those Swedish accent guys, though, hurt my ears, and I'm a Swede myself. You know, for a short while I used... Uh, what's it called? No, really, what is it called? Hmm. It's not there. That music streaming service that's really popular. And is indeed actually set up here in Stockholm. Honestly, what's it called? Spotify. I was using Spotify, and I had a uh, I had a free premium on it, so great, fantastic. But it ran out, and then suddenly I got loads of adverts, and the adverts were in Swedish. And just listening to the Swedish made me so angry. Can't really put my finger on it, but it made me so angry. Oh, this isn't annexation. He still has Kashmir. Well, that's about to change. And Kashmir is going to get burned to the ground. Oh, it's just a bit of military power, John Poor. I can oblige. Fortunately, you have your punishment game for failing Doom. Please, let's try not to remind me of that. Okay, colonialism, I can pick it up, and it's right there in Astrakhan, so it is now mine. Although I don't really need it right now, so why would I take it? Trade power is kind of worth it, so there you go. Also means that this edict is not necessary. And the next thing we're going to have to develop for, and we will have to do it, is the printing press, because I'm pretty certain I'm not going to be getting that. No reformed land, no Protestant land nice thing here is that Kashmir Rebs are going to, uh... Well, they won't pop if I don't take Kashmir, but I kind of want to take it just to burn it. But it is expensive, so there we go. Oh yeah, stop being allied with them, I don't like it. Beautiful. So a fort, I have to ask myself if I want it, and the answer is I do not. Just another thing for Ming to take and get war score on me, but what I do want is to burn all this land to the ground. Mm. It's kind of a shame, it's really good land, but it's better burnt. And let's make it cheaper to cover. And let's ensure that it never rises up. 100% autonomy is a bit of a bummer, but I'm not waiting around to state and unstate it. That's just too much for me. There we go. Golden Horde is looking pretty big and beautiful right now. But it could be bigger and more beautiful. How are my truces looking? Uzbek are going to die in two years. For real this time. And very soon it's going to be time to tell Ming where to go. That truce I have with them ends in 31, so I'll have time to kill Uzbek and then march my way down to Ming and start cracking some skulls. I really like the way that that mandate is just slipping away like mad. Their units are just going to die horribly to me. Which is good. Good for me, that is. Alright, but I do want to sort out my units, and that's easiest done around Samarkand. 
Is there a reason you're keeping the Kazan fort? Uh, I have a feeling it's going to be useful. Just a feeling. So, this is as far as I go, and the rest of these guys are my tributaries. That's excellent. I didn't turn around and smack Persia. And it would be good for me to smack Persia. He doesn't even have Tech 9. I can't remember if Tech 9's at. Oh, yeah, Tech 9 is huge. I should be eating Persia with no restraint. And I don't have to wait on that either. Alright, well, Persia gets eaten. Just one little bit of horrible uh, attrition here and we're good. I want that land maintenance reduction, even though tech is good. Corruption ain't so nice though. Why pay extra when you don't have to? No, not 70 sailors. Alright, what should a team be, and should I still have mercs? Right now, I don't want to pay for mercs. Uh, what should an army be? Eight of you, and... I gotta consider this, though. It should be half of this. So reasonably... Reasonably, I want a stack to be 16, essentially. That would be six of you, ten of you, but then the cannons don't fit in. All right, five, ten, and a cannon. Five, ten, and a cannon. So I've got a couple of good stacks, and then the rest of you are just uh, miscellaneous. And then we should go over to Persia and kick their arse. <laughs> Don't worry, Lucky started streaming. You'll take 400 of your viewers away, I can only hope. What's Lucky streaming anyway? And what time is it? It's, uh... It's coming up for 8. Is Chagatai still allied with the Ming? Well, Chagatai is a subordinate of the Ming. And they're going to keep it that way, I imagine. They're not particularly uh, liberty desiry. No, I just need to strike the Ming with my tribal conquest. And just eat and eat and eat. It's a shame I don't have the Cassus Belly to um, take the mandate, because then I could eat for really cheap. Says fan007 says hello. Well, hello back to you. Alright, Persia's gotta get eaten. I'm just so hungry for some Persian. And he's lost his, uh, his good stuff. In fact, if I was able to get through you, I'd be able to sneak in through the back and he would have nowhere to run to. But as long as his tech is garbage, it's a good time to smack him down. Especially since he has a Regency Council. reasonable question is where's his army and I'm not sure I care that much would like the ruler of mine to die soon though he's making things expensive even if he is well connected okay you know it ain't worth it I want that So he does still have an army, but it's only 12,000. I just need to find it and kill it, and it's probably down there. To the point where I'm willing to gamble that it's down there and divide up my forces to uh, eat up his land. Because generally, countries keep them on their, uh, on their capital. So you just go and hunt him down. to have that movement speed increase as well. There are many good things here. Oh, ho! He's trying, but those are mountains. However, he will get there in time. That's a bit scary. Even with my movement speed, that wasn't enough. 
か。Alright, I'll take it. Now, where was that revolt? Ah, somewhat expected. There's part of the problem, though. I never raised autonomy. Not that it would have saved me. Ah, well. I just want my humanism ideas, so I don't have to deal with that. And it's very unusual for me to want my humanism ideas. I'll give you that. Hmm. Yeah, everything's looking good there. Well, we'll just run him down. Once again, he has no shock. He just doesn't understand how shock works. kind of want you over there just to keep an eye on the situation here. They're just not afraid of mountains. We're so much better than, uh, than Persia here. Where's he trying to run to though? Hope he doesn't go up into there because that will cause me issues. I should wipe these guys out. Wipe them out, all of them, as they say. is a case of me just wanting my king dead. I don't mind throwing him into battles or onto sieges, except that he's not very good. Oh, so that's where you are. Well, good fight, good night. You don't even get to hide behind your river. So I might as well give it another plug. In my title is a survey for the channel. If you haven't taken it, it would be appreciated if you could. Granted, it is obnoxiously long, so if you have better things to do in your life, then pursue those. No, I mean, it's pretty long. But there's been quite a lot of feedback, and some of it fairly eye-opening. You know, almost 25% of people actually want there to be a face cam on the stream. So naturally I took those responses and set fire to all of them, because it can't be people that we want to hear from. Jake, force religion so that you might have Sunny provinces to take. There's no way I can do that. He's, uh, he's too big. He's just too big for me too big to tributize, but really what I want to do is take his lands and burn them to the ground, as I always do. Just take, burn, doesn't matter about anything else. And yeah, you feel free to link the survey in the channel. That'll make life easier for everybody. Lose to inflation is nice, but not at that cost. Uh, that is high autonomy in already autonomized areas, but what you gonna do? Jake, why do Kirkassi and Theodora still live? Well, Theodora certainly doesn't live. Where are they my tributary? How did they... Ah, they must have been helping out uh, Trebizond. Well, I hope that answers your question. Kirkassi exist for probably good reasons. Just don't ask what they are. Need to go back and deal with them. This is a problem having such huge amounts of land but not a lot of troops, because I'm just too tight-fisted for that. <sighs> if there was an I don't care either way option for face cam, I would have hit that one. Yeah, quite a few people wanted more I don't care uh, answers, but uh, I don't care about I don't care answers. I want you to make decisions. All right, these, uh, what, Danish noble rebels sawed off. Go back to Denmark. Even there, you're not wanted. Oh yeah, and then there were plenty of people giving me the whole, there's only two gender options, how dare you? Do you know what year it is? To which I just go, pfft. The very first paragraph says, 
If not one of them applies to you, choose the one you feel closest to. So really it's just a way of saying you struggle with reading comprehension when you say that. So in a way I guess I pity you. Shit about that double siege guy over here. It's an almost admirable desire to die from the, uh, not the Prussians. Gotta stop thinking that they're Prussians. We'll take that money though. Mm -mm. Where would you put the face cam? Okay, if I was to do it, I'd have face cam in the bottom right with chat just above it. So a lot of the left-hand side of the screen would be spoken for in that regard. But that's not what we're doing, so let's forever be grateful about that. So I switch this around so I get the, the siege guy still there. And whoa, slow down there, friendos. Jake, can you explain your love for Dosh? Okay, so once upon a time I had a job, and all was well. And then I paid for some expensive things, like getting my car insured. Then I didn't have my job anymore, and then that was kind of, oh no. So, ever since then I've had a great love for money, and a lot of fiscal sense for saving it. Good times. Uh, what is the best land here to take? Because that's what I want. It's kind of all pretty bad. Well, not having to deal with that fort again would be pretty nice. So if I do that, it looks pretty good. Don't get to take as fast sums of money, though. And money is very good. Well, Ayutthaya could not handle the Ming Sting, and they've decided that bankruptcy suits them better than anything else. December this year, I have to fight Uzbek, and wow, you've been there for a long time. Goodbye. Yeah, need to fight Uzbek, so... Ditch you guys, and run over there with the intention to kill. And you'll be there in December. How fortuitous. I'm going to give you the movement speed guy as well if you don't already have him. You do, this explains so much. Alright, Persia, it was good fun, but now you're gone, and coalitions, I laugh at the very prospect. Mm -mm. Shouldn't laugh about 122% overextension, though. That is no laughing matter, so we need to burn this stuff to the ground. Burning feels so good. Hopefully it burns enough that we actually do uh, fall below 100%, otherwise I'm in trouble. No, surely it does. Uh, that needs to update, so don't sweat it. <sighs> I'd like to get more humanism ideas, please, but I just have to do so much coring. Alright, so the Uzbeks are going to die, and then it's time to start eyeing up the Ming. Is there anybody else that needs to die before the Ming? The Ming is 31. No. The only thing I really need to concern myself with is not having more rebels. Ingermanlan wants to rise up. I got a solution for that. It's called Kachunk. Shu want to rise up, that's okay. Zaprosia, yeah. haven't you already done your stuff there? Get a hobby, man. Uzbek uh, still have both forts, but one is not paid for whatsoever. He'll probably pay for them as soon as the truce is up, so that's something to keep in mind. Can you get there any faster? No. Oh well, we should get up there and prepare for war. Then again, I have a lot of money. I could probably hire an army fast enough to deal with you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five.
I mean, hey, I need an army at this point. Mr. Fish just asked me how it's going, so I'm, I'm glad people care about that. But I am doing just fantastic after a less than stellar week. Gearing up for some eye surgery and uh, all is... all was not well on Friday. I'll tell you that much for free. Okay, foot troops get up there. Cavalry as well. On you go. <laughs> this is one way to deal with it. Just raise an army fast enough to deal with them. New religions? Nah. Yeah, sure, I mean, I don't convert anything. And always a fan of getting more mill power. I hate spending my stuff like this, but I don't like having high uh, inflation. So we will destroy that for a bit. I do, however, like debasing. 507 ducats, and it costs me considerably less to get rid of it. Oh, Truce of Uzbek is now up. It's off by quite a while, isn't it? I still hope he doesn't turn it on. Mm. The appearance of a religious Persian state has stirred the... blah blah blah. Okay, well, I guess we gotta turn around then. I really hope that only triggers once. Riazan's not going to hold on there. Bello Ozero will help, however. That's good. But you guys have got your work cut out dealing with that stuff. Jake, don't forget about that one province. Hmm, well, that's why you guys are right there, I guess. All right. You're in a position to die now. It's just going to be tribal complete conquest. You guys will help out there, preferably with two siege. Now you guys should take it on with two siege. You've got the cannon. So you're a bit unnecessary there. That's okay then. So, once Uzbek is gone, there's nothing to worry about, but... Oh, damn, Kirkassia lost out there. Now I've got a bigger Genoese uh, friend who I could fight. It's certainly an option. So, Uzbek dies, and then it's Ming. Batter up. This guy. I forgot I still had that fort. I'm about to be really glad I've kept it, but now there are other provinces that I actually need to de siege so I can core them. Right, get back to somewhere with supply limit. I need an extra cannon for that stack. I need to not hemorrhage money so badly, but that might be asking too much, and all is well. Afternoon from Florida, says Rosenkalk. I'm quite the fan of Florida. It's got a lot of things I like. I'm missing one guy from here. You there. There we go, with Uzbek down, all I really need to do is trample over to Ming and prepare to crush them with my hooves. And I'm looking forward to that. Look at that mandate, it's pathetic. That extra shock damage and fire damage received is just going to knock their socks off. Okay, not afraid of mountains, if it means I get a nice early kill on you. 
would be better to fight you with a significant tech advantage, but I'm not seeing that anytime soon. Cavalry fire is not what I would term an advantage. In fact, it seems like the kind of thing a meme modifier would describe. Face it, Uzbek, you're already dead. Florida has lots of things you like, such as swamp gas, alligator bites, crazy people, uh, how about hot sun, arcades, low prices, and theme parks. Hmm. Funny, we have a fairly, uh, fairly good Ahmed Nagar here, but there's no uh, Mughals trying desperately but failing to conquer them. Alright, that was fun, Uzbek. Do I have the overextension to eat you up? 53, you would give me 45. Well, isn't that just perfect? Gone, and that Golden Horde name is getting... Well, it's rising, right? But as ever, if land is taken, it must be burned, it must be cored, it must be autonomized. Burned, cored, autonomized. I mean, I care more about the burning than the long-term gains here, so I have no problem just autonomizing here. Hope I'm not doing it in the wrong order, that'd be kind of funny. Va was actually pretty good. You improved it 11 times, but I'm still going to burn it to the ground. And now it's time to head over to our best friend, the Ming. The only revolts I really have to worry about are probably going to be over there, except the Persians want to rise up again. Nothing new there. Did I not give them autonomy? Evidently not. Swear government to. It's not going to stop them revolting, but it's certainly going to lower revolt size and uh, make it slower. They kill the Uzbek forts. Good point, they are unnecessary. And again, fighting in forts is bad for me. Alright, now our army needs to make its way back up. We'll take a pit stop in Samarkand, I think. Just so they can merge together and get ready for more. This fort might be useful if the Persians are going to be rising up. Oh, sweet, this must be uh, what you were talking about. The script, Yearly Horde Unity Forever, which means I can finally fire this guy and get, um, er, I mean, I don't make diddly on production, so give me prestige. I like prestige. This guy's been around forever. So that Ming army, huh? It's big, it's extremely big, and it's mostly made of merc, so manpower isn't really an issue for him, but I'm still going to have to fight him. He has three loans, it's probably not going to hurt him very much, but the Ming really need to die. I thought of something, maybe he'll attack me. He'll try to force tributary state. I'll get taken war score from capital again. Jampur and Malwa will probably get bodied. But it might be better than me attacking him. Uh, Jampur does not want to fight. Malwa does definitely not want to fight. However, if they had to help me, I'm sure it would be different. How long till the mandate hits zero, Jake? Er, not long. So like five years, but I mean they're already taking enormous damage. It's kind of cute. Okay, well they are going to die, but that is going to happen on the next session of Golden Horde. Or Very Horde, whatever we're calling this. Uh, it was optional, but I think we are going to go with some Caesar 3, so the stream is going to shift over potentially seamlessly. We'll see what we